Today is Thursday, April 11th, 2019, and this is the North Camp the Northampton Council on Aging Council Advisory Council meeting. So anybody that um, as this meeting is called to order, if you make sure you silence your cell phones. And if you are in attendance and are recording this meeting, please let us know that you are doing that because it is being recorded by Northampton Community Television. So, it looks like we have a member of the public today. Sir, would you like to speak today? Uh, it depends on what you all say. No, um, that's not how it goes. I'm sorry. What the public is speaks before us, and then we have our meeting. No, I don't have an agenda. Okay. <laughs> and then we can, we're not allowed to respond to you. We would just take it to your advisement what you have to say. Thank you for the opportunity. Okay, thank you for being here. Okay, so everybody have a copy of the agenda. What we first need to do is to, now that we have a quorum, is to, um, I'll entertain a motion to approve the meeting minutes for our meeting for February 14th, since last month we didn't have a quorum. So anybody want to make a motion? So moved. Okay, Cindy, who's going to second it? I second it. Donna? All those in favor of approving the questions? minutes? I have questions. Oh, okay. Okay. In terms of the minutes, yeah. um, I, maybe I'm, I, I think I just have questions about in terms of how, how much detail one puts in, in the minutes. Okay. But can we just approve these minutes for the, and you can have that as a part of the agenda? Well, I could because it has to do with these minutes. But are you okay. going to edit the minutes? I already did. Okay. <laughs> no, so, it's as the secretary, when I get the minutes from Linda, I right. edit them, right. and then we pass on to Marie, and then she re-edited them. So I have some questions about how they were re-edited. They were really made much more succinct and, and um, um, right. great. Dennis, would you like to? Yeah, could you just pass that? We're, 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 we're in the middle of a motion, so yeah. should I finish the motion? Oh, yeah. uh, well, it's yeah, motion been seconded, discussion. but then there can be discussion. Okay. Okay. Well, so in point, the I'm discussion period, I, although I can't answer your question mm -hmm. because if Marie edited what you did and she isn't here. Right, no. That's then fine. I'll it, talk to her. Yeah, I don't think but anybody is there something, has. Is there something you want to see back well, in the I, no. I do have a, I do. It is that we want it concise because this is oh. being recorded. I am so we, so we don't need elaborate minutes. Okay, so the details are more, um, will be on the recording. So if people right. have questions about the specifics, so we can just put like even bullet points. We don't have to put details of things in minutes. True, correct. Okay. We just need the names and the motions okay. and the time. And then at the end, present. whose minutes are these? Are these the council's minutes or are they the, the uh, senior center or director's minutes? Um, well, we have multiple questions. Mm -hmm. So, the, uh, as to what goes in the minutes, because mm -hmm. I used to have to advise the council well, on the job. Great. Technically, the only thing that needs to be mm -hmm. in the minutes is the call to order, the right. members present, and the actual form of voting. Okay. After that, mm -hmm. people have varying styles. Right. In general, mm -hmm. um, what they try to do before everything was recorded, you mm -hmm. could go to GCTV and watch it. They right. used to put more okay. uh, more stuff in there. Mm -hmm. And then now that there's another way to actually okay. do That's stuff, fine. people have been trying to just um, have it more, more pertinent. Okay. So, and yes, the answer is that it can just be bullets. It doesn't have to be okay. sentences. There's nothing in um, the public records law or from the Secretary of State's okay. office that says mm -hmm. it, it, it well, must be in a paragraph, it okay. must be this, it must be that. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that's the answer to That's that. Great. Great. Um, and then the answer to, what was the second? Whose minutes are they? Who's Whose they? minutes are they? The technically, they're the Council on Aging right. minutes, okay. and that, that's why we're voting on them. Okay. So it's the Northampton okay. Council on Aging. So okay. when you go like to mm -hmm. uh, Northampton TV, it's the Northampton Council okay. on Aging meeting, okay, meeting. Thank you. I and they have, that. and it appears on the uh, our our right. website. I'm not sure if it's the city website or the senior center website. Where do they get posted? It's, it's the, the senior center website. website. The city. However, they haven't been posted that I know for a while. We did mm -hmm. ask. We did ask the TV station to come. Oh, because then it should say the NCOA That's fine. meeting That's fine. of. And I just had questions. Wait, do we be doing the posting? The, the NCTV is no, on the TV. No, no. 
They come and pick up the. But do the printed minutes? The printed so posted. Did they those get posted. posted. Yeah, so we, we, we post, post them. Yeah. I post those. Yeah. Okay. I really that. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, that's just generally just that's how it works. Okay. Yeah, and Thank you don't you. have to name names and say Cindy said this. Donna oh said no, this no, one. no. That's I think it's that's just making it. But how much that details way. about situations that uh, that come up? The details. I mean, I I understand in terms of making things um, diplomatic and tactful and without you know any, any sort of uh, emotionalism in in it, but. You know, to write, I mean, I, I understand the need to write the facts as I heard them, but I, in terms of opinions and things, they shouldn't be, unless it's somebody offers an opinion within this meeting. Right, correct. right. I have that right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so all those in favor of approving the minutes for February 14th, say aye. 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 Opposed? I'm just abstaining. Abstaining, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so. <coughs> Those are passed that we're accepting them. And now we're going to the March minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So it's six. 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 Uh, yes. yes. One abstention. One abstention. Okay. So as long as seven vote, that's okay. Yeah, as long as seven people vote. Yep, that's okay. Good pass. Good pass. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so now the the meeting, the minutes for um, the March meeting. I had noted uh, prior to the meeting that we had I think it was this one we had Donna both present and and absent and Linda corrected that after she mailed the e emailed them out to you so there was just a mistake that way so Donna was absent at the meeting rather than both <laughs> so um it's a big okay. trick you do that. yeah so I feel like yeah I know I want to learn that trick <laughs> so would someone like to make a motion to accept the minutes for the March 14th meeting. And if we're not here, we can't leave here. So. <coughs> Nobody wants to make a motion? I'll make a motion. I'm sorry not to do it again. But sure. Okay. And so who, who's second? Okay, Kathy. Made by Cindy. Seconded by Kathy. All those, any, oh, any discussion? Okay. All those in favor? Say aye. aye. Opposed? And anyone abstaining? So that also passes. Great. Okay. All right. So thank you very much on that. So I think for announcements, um, really Michelle was here and passed out announcements for us of things that are happening, unless anybody else has some announcements. But the health and safety fair. For the TV, perhaps you might announce the, the date and yeah. the uh, event. Okay. Health and Safety Fair, Thursday, May 9th. The blood drive happens to be the same day. The Health and Safety Fair is 10 to 2, blood drive 10 to 3.30. And then the LGBTQ plus uh, Rainbow Luncheon is happening on Wednesday, April 24th here at the Senior Center from 11 to 1. Lunch will be served at 11.30. So, um, for old business, how about an update from Cindy and Kathy about the visibility about in the Chronicle? Our members, the COA council members, visibility. Which Kathy B is about. Kathy B. So we got everyone. I don't think we got Donna. Um, but I think everyone else, and I, I think the question from Marie was whether they're all going to fit in the May issue. So that when I talked to her the other day, she was still not clear. So they still talking. So what, what, did, what didn't go in, or it, what didn't go in the next issue would go in the following issue. What okay. won't we'll go in May, we'll go in June. Right. Yeah. And so the, the deadline for May already happened, so you were able to put some in there. For I gave them, I turned them all over to Marie, so I don't know beyond that. Which is, it's a question of space. How many yeah. will be able to go in? Okay, great. We got them all that one. And so, Donna, you'll talk to Cindy about that? <laughs> okay, great. And uh, I meant to tell everybody that um, Marie was not able to make the meeting today, as you can see. So Kim is kind of subbing with an assistant director's report. Okay. Then the next thing on the agenda is new business. Does anybody have any new business? 
discuss. Kathy, um, should we be looking into the um, the TV getting the um, getting it up on um, a way that people can access? Given that we have changed our uh, um, minutes format in order to yeah, be, be, because we have that, make sure that it's was that something that maybe I, Marie or someone could look into for us? Yeah, yeah. I think I think it's been something that Marie was concerned about. Found out about that previous uh, meetings. Previous councils haven't even, you know, had the meet, the minutes posted, that kind of thing. So we're trying to get on board with the correct procedure. But for, uh, I, I just want to be clear. My understanding is, is that Linda, you post our minutes. Yeah, it's the TV recording right. that isn't on. So that's run by the top. So our minutes are being posted. It's what you're concerned about, and our concern is is how can people watch the entire thing because the minutes don't have everything in. Exactly. Yeah. If, if, okay. if what I'm understanding you correctly, the reason that we do the minutes the way we do is right. because we leave the details mm -hmm. to the video and therefore right. we should probably make sure that that's accessible to people if that was what the plan is. Maybe you guys, I mean, I don't know the GCTV people. I know people in CTV. And CTV. Oh, is that what it's called? Yeah. Oh, GC, I don't keep getting refilled. Just a process for me. Yes, I, I have a comment. Yeah, and maybe bigger than MCTV and yeah. others. It's about we're a city department, the minutes. Yeah. And so, right. It needs to be there because it's not an option. Right. So it's just and, and they are the city. What's getting in the way? Yeah. And the city does have, I mean, the companies yeah, so are really, there, so I don't know. Why. Oh, they are. Oh, yeah. So it's really, it's not just. Yeah, why are why are ours not on there? Okay. Thank you. And who's going to check on that? Kim. Kim. Okay. Thank you, Kim. All right. That's going to your report, Kim. Good afternoon, everybody. Hi. We, we are right on the heels of an absolutely marvelous uh, volunteer celebration from yesterday. Yes. Um, hopefully everyone enjoyed it. I know we sure did. Um, we had over the course of the year um, a few over 135 volunteers that volunteered 16,520 hours, 21 hours if I round up. <laughs> Which if you look at that um, from kind of a monetary value, um, that equals $407,897.07. And minimum <laughs> so, wage? That's yeah, the most me. It's, yeah. it's 24 or something. Oh, that much. So, yeah. And so we gave a check to the mayor uh, for that amount. and Not a real check. Not a real check. <laughs> but yeah, a non-cashable check. But a great, a, a really a great celebration of everybody who is donating ways, both big and small, visible and behind the scenes, uh, to make a difference in people's lives and to make a difference here at the Senior Center. So um, certainly want to take, take the time to celebrate that. And thank you all um, for your part in that as well. Um, in terms of, of volunteer needs, it's kind of a revolving door. It keeps, we keep having needs. <laughs> um, reception continues to be an area that we're looking for some, some volunteers. Um, most of those time slots are filled at this point, but also good to have some people available that can sub and step in when somebody needs some time away. Um, also looking for dispatch. That's been a challenging one for us to to identify a person willing to do that, and that's making phone calls to set up rides. Um, so it's, it's a phone position, which a lot of volunteers that come in want to be a little bit more interactive with people and kind of out and about. So that one's been difficult, but if you know of anybody that would like to make some phone calls to help set up rides, send them my way. Yes? Um, does it, um, do the people, can they do it from their own home, or do they have to come here to do it? I don't know, just we could probably look at that. It, it involves using my senior center. Okay. Um, at, okay. The part that you couldn't do from home is the dial a ride line. Okay. So part of that responsibility is checking the messages on that line. Okay. Although there you might be a possibility. We could probably look at it. Well, that's I'm just a curious. There might be something that somebody who may not. There might be a possibility. I mean, we could certainly look at that. Might be worth it. We can certainly look at that. That could feel to someone who. It's mm -hmm. a great way to connect even if they can. Sure. Mm -hmm. we, can, we can certainly do it. I love to and can't physically get out. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Great idea. Sounds good. Thank you. Sounds good. I think part of it is retrieving the messages off of the phone here. Mm -hmm. People call in, they leave a message what they want for a ride. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how 
a person would interface. Yeah, yeah, we should be able to retain. Oh. The only thing that I just off the top of my head that I think we'd be losing is somebody to actually answer when it rings. Gotcha. So when we yeah. actually have it, somebody who's in that dispatch role, they answer the phone when it rings. So that piece wouldn't happen, but messages could be retrieved. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we could certainly look at it. Uh, there, I mean, the pieces would be there to make it happen. Mm -hmm. It would just be not ideal to have someone answering mm -hmm. the phone at the time, but it, it might work. Yeah. It might work. It's, hold, hold. So it's a dedicated room? But it's not work. like mm -hmm. you push four. Right, it's okay. a dedicated it's a, oh, okay. it's a dedicated. The other complication, because I do medical transportation, is I receive the um, Jen Jennifer or whoever sends out an email telling me what's available, and I pick from the email. Yeah. So that's another yeah, aspect. Yeah, I think it's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think it's right. It's worth checking. I think it's worth great yeah, right to see right. so we can be as expansive as we can possibly be to get engaged volunteers. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Yeah. It, it's worth it's looking into. Yeah, we're checking out to see. The mechanics are there. Yeah, to be exactly. Active, so, so it's worth looking into. That. Just a good question. So, how much, you know, you have to be, you said you'd be here to answer the telephone. So, does that mean that um, how, how, what, how many hours a week is this? Um, it varies. There are people right now that are volunteering in that mm -hmm. position, and when there is not anyone, that's something that Jennifer Carberry takes care of. Oh, okay. So it would be working in conjunction with her Jen to cover okay. specific blocks okay. of time. Okay. So okay. I would be pretty flexible, but ultimately mm -hmm. she'd need to answer that question. Okay. But your ideal is Monday to Friday, 9 to 5. Well, I mean, ideally we'd love as much time right. as oh. possible. Wow. So I mean, certainly yeah. Jennifer yeah. does it at, yeah. right, sure. Jennifer, gotcha. Jennifer okay. has a key role in that as well. And yeah, certainly yeah. the more support we give her, that oh, frees yeah. her up okay. to you know, do have some other things. First so, sure. I didn't even sure. understand that there was, mm -hmm. as long as the center is open there, there needs to be coverage in that area. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Great. Thank you. Also, we'll be looking for some volunteers for some of those flyers that you have in front of you, <laughs> some special events. Um, so for the luncheon, as well as the health fair, I'll email you some more information. We'll be putting a call out for volunteers for both of those events as well. Uh, Thursday, May 9th is our meeting. Do we need to change our meeting? Yeah. We usually do, actually. Oh, I was say that's a That's bad. We, we, we will... A lot of stuff going on. It's a busy day. It does wrap up at 2 o'clock, and this room will be free at 3.30, okay. so it... All right. I mean, ultimately, I'm not sure if Marie wants to do anything yeah, differently, but logistically right. speaking, it can be done. I think the reason it was can't change before is because we used to have our meeting at lunch. Right. Uh, That's why. So there isn't actually a conflict. No. no. There's, conflict. There's not a time and space conflict. Mm -hmm. at, okay. Right. So from that perspective, we're fine. But if you all are like dead on your feet because it's been a crazy day. <laughs> I'm going to be sitting here like this, but <laughs> no, no, I think I think that day will be that each uh, update on the, the focus groups and the working groups. The movie committee, uh, I'll just mention them now, and we'll probably just know as we move forward that that committee's up and running and meeting monthly and picking movies. Um, so they are off and running and, and receiving feedback along the way. Uh, they're doing a mix of movies. Some of it's thematic, some of it's some newer movies, some older movies. The next two movies that we have coming up are The Green Book and Bohemian Rhapsody. So we've got a nice lineup of some brand new movies, some award-winning movies coming out. So okay. the next two weeks will be will be great. And we've been getting a really, really strong turnout for those between lunch and then the movie afterwards. Um, arts and Culture Group just met yesterday, and they are also meeting monthly. Uh, so continuing to look at ways we can expand our programming from an arts and culture perspective, including looking at developing a feedback form for people that have taken some art classes or taken some of the other classes that we were offering, uh, an opportunity to say would they recommend that class to someone else, um, you know, any other suggestions for additional programming and events as well. We are still in the midst of, of forming the welcoming uh, focus group, so I'll give you an update on that at our next meeting. And then from there, just wanted to give a couple updates on some of the programs that we, that we have. Up on the uh, up on the roster coming up. Uh, so the movies I already mentioned, Green Book and Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, during March, there were 104 people that attended movies. So uh, they are getting a really good a really good following. People are enjoying uh, coming for lunch, the movies, and certainly the popcorn during the movies is a plus. 
Uh, cooking classes are continuing to be a success. Uh, Kevin's offering the incredible edible egg in April, and then the flavorful world of herbs and spices in May. So sign up for those if you're interested. We also just started on the 10th, yesterday was a busy day. Um, we started uh, shopping trips to Hadley. So people are able to sign up for shopping trips to go to uh, Mountains Farms, Mountain Farms Mall and Hampshire Mall. Mm -hmm. So it was a small group this time, but I think once the word of mouth gets mm -hmm. out, we'll, we'll see that see that pick up as well. And that's going to be the second Wednesday of every month we'll offer those. What's the time for that? Time? Approximately. I would need to double check. Let me get back on y'all to get up. It's, so the, it's the, the afternoon, they get, but they get like two, three hours. Oh yeah, it's a handful of hours. Right, okay. They covered both. They had lunch, lunch at Panera. So yeah, it was a, it was, I think it was a two or three hour trip. Mm -hmm. We also are offering in May, uh, volunteers come forward to teach guitar lessons, and he is offering those guitar lessons for free. Ooh. So that's going to be a really great opportunity, and up to this point in time, we have 11 people that are interested oh, in that. that. So Who's it'll be me to um, Steve Files is, oh, the, um, okay, yeah, yeah. is the volunteer. So uh, we've got really strong interest for that class to add to the additional classes that we already offer uh, for ukulele and drumming. What's that? I, I still get a kick at the fact that ukulele is so popular. Oh, yeah. I mean, they still have to get there. Like, oh, present company included. <laughs> How many people are taking ukulele? Yeah. I'd have to look. Yeah, I don't know off the top of my head, but it's it, it's, yeah. it's a really popular class that's that's got a really strong following and people you know went kind of a bit through an introduction level of classes and now it's kind of a ukulele two to pick up on new skills you know, after your <laughs> after your beginning classes so so yeah that's a, another now we want them all to get together and have a concert for that's what i'm saying yes ukulele drums exactly we're gonna have a whole band soon anybody want to do like violin drum yeah we get keyboard we get yeah we'll, we'll have a whole whole thing we'll be timeless tunes and then our whole orchestra right. i think that's why i want to do because it's it's so little it's not intimidating mm -hmm. you know you can sort of yeah yeah that's yeah. 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 sounds good sounds good uh, Canasta's new card group that started Ooh. as well. Um, so that is on Mondays at 2 o'clock. That started in April. Um, the other things that I did have to mention were the flyers that Michelle brought in as well. So our first um, LGBTQ uh, seniors and allies, uh, Rainbow Luncheon, is going to happen on Wednesday, April 24th. And that will be a, a monthly luncheon. So there's a sign up for that at the front desk. Um, and the uh, gay men's dropping group has been instrumental in helping to plan that along with Michelle and we've gone to a lot of the other luncheons in the area. So we're excited to get that off the ground here. Also excited to talk a little bit about our partnership with the Western Mass Pollinators. Pretty exciting. Um, there is a Design Your Garden to Attract More Pollinators presentation on Wednesday, April 24th at 6 p.m. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I also, in, in conjunction with that, um, some, some friends that I, ha I know, including what would be great to have Laurie Sanders, who's the co-director at the Historic of Hampton, is quite a naturalist. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about, there's a number of women that I know uh, in terms of gathering monarch butter caterpillars and tending them. I thought we could get a bunch from here and, and kind of have a little talk about that and maybe even have the, uh, having some of them here to watch as they, they come forth as butterflies, it's amazing. Awesome. So, but I, I can follow up on that, you know, because okay. I know Sue's, Sue, a friend of mine who does it, used to do it with kindergarten, was interested. Great, great. So yeah, so the um, Western Mass Pollinators, um, volunteers from their network, they're collaborating with city staff, as you may know, uh, to create an urban pollinator pathway, and that's gonna include several multiple, multiple locations throughout the city, and the Senior Center will be one of those locations. Arts Night Out is another really big one for us this week. Tomorrow, tomorrow. This week, like tomorrow. This week, tomorrow, five o'clock. Be here. Be here, yes. So Laura Radwell, her opening reception is what kicks it off at five o'clock. And then the Arts Night Out celebration is really great for us yeah. because the Art Salon is also happening tomorrow. Oh, yeah. So the Art Salon features four different artists. Yeah. Um, we will be serving refreshments and beverages. 
Um, what time is Tasty that? adult beverages. Tasty here. adult beverages. Oh. Yes. Oh. At six thirty. Okay. Six thirty is the arts. Okay. Is the it starts at five with yeah, bars opening, yeah, yeah. and then six thirty is okay. the art salon that features yeah. features for artists. So that'll kind of I think really put us on the map in mm -hmm. terms of arts night out. Really, mm -hmm. hopefully, hopefully, get a good crowd here tomorrow nice. night. Uh, the health and safety fair um, is another big one for us. Thursday, May May 9th, um, the building is filled with vendors, um, including a blood drive this year, which will be in the activity room. Um, what we needed to do because of the size of this is really programming for that day has been canceled. Um, everything in the evening will still happen. We'll be able to potentially slide a few things from earlier in the day into later in the day, but everybody's been notified. That's, of that's why I'm thinking our meeting because of just the space and it's really that our meeting might be changed because mm -hmm. that you know programming has changed mm -hmm. this is kind of the, in the same realm and you guys mm -hmm. the staff is very very busy and exhausted yeah no, so, so, so I, I, exactly i guess you're saying is figure it out and just let us know yeah mm -hmm. yeah sure so sure. that's fine it's very light. Light. Uh, discuss it yeah sure either way um, and that goes till two the blood drive goes a little bit longer so, who, who, who's oh, who's at this not just who comes to play but who's at it I'll take it the health and safety field. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, Michelle's been the one coordinating yeah. it. I think yes, there's lots of people. people there are a lot there's of assisted living people coming. Yeah. There are people like the Alzheimer's Association. There are people here, for instance, on, on emergency. Mm -hmm. you know, so it's like, it's like it's an information kind yeah. of thing. It's an very information. information. Yeah. Very yeah. informational. Yeah. Versus taking blood pressure, sugar levels. Um, yeah. Well, obviously, there's what so. blood pressure you're doing, but that's put it. That make it the only test. Yeah. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. Because sometimes when I put on health fairs, but it was for workers, mm -hmm. I would, it was it was like blood sugar, mm -hmm. blood pressure. Yeah, actually, uh, some uh, fake fe feet. Yeah, whatever, you know, looking at the Looking at all the spots from the yeah. sun yeah. made me scream. Yeah, yeah. it's more like in the I think it's real vectors and. Yeah. Uh, things of interest to older people, so it's not yeah, really you know. coming in and getting in line to yeah. have your blood pressure. That, that's not my recollection. Right. I don't remember the effects. Yeah. That's right. Give blood. Mm -hmm. Right. That's right. 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 If at any part of your body, like a doctor for that, mm -hmm. um, the, the hospital, the Dickinson, yeah. the VNA, mm -hmm. all the mm -hmm. assisted living places, mm -hmm. um, eyeglass, people, eyeglass, eyeglass people. people. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even Netta was here last year. Yeah, yeah I think. Um, well, they yeah. should be back again. It's <laughs> 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 offer. But they, you know, they were here yeah. last year. Yeah, so anything like that. They're informed. It's well, the informational right? booth. It's very right. well time. Yeah, very well time. It is very well time. And it's packed and it's really, you know, parking is an issue. So that's why I'm thinking we're going to postpone this meeting mm -hmm. to another day. Yeah, Just be, we'll send out an email. Yes, parking can be a challenge. We have coordinated, we have coordinated with the World War II club, so we'll so, but make the best of the parking. That's taking it. back a few sentences or paragraphs, you need volunteers for this. Is that right? We would. Yeah. We would. Um, yeah, and I will. I, I'll send it out an email. Um, certainly, call some of, some of the volunteers that we have. Um, a lot of it, uh, part of it is is helping vendors in terms of lunches, get delivered yeah, lunches yeah. to them because they've ordered lunches. Right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just a little bit of crowd control to be around, mm -hmm. answer questions. Mm -hmm. um, we'll probably have an extra person or two at reception desk just because yeah. I'm sure there'll be a lot of questions. So, I'll, I'll forward you an email with the details. Yeah, the vendors are given a, a questionnaire if they want lunch and they place an order before, mm -hmm. often before they get here. And then as volunteers, we take their orders and, and deliver the food to them too. So it's a big, yes. it, you know, it's mm -hmm. a big food thing as, mm -hmm. at the same time. Yes, because the, the bistro's not open. Yeah, I remember. We can just be served. Well, we'll be open. Oh, lunch is served. Oh, lunch is served. Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 Lunch is served. Kitchen is open that day. My fault. Yeah. It's just that it's delivered to the batter so they can right. stay. I know. I remember doing that last time. And the last thing to add is also uh, another pretty incredible event, <laughs> uh, the Northampton Age Friendly Dementia Friendly Kickoff Event um, and Community Listening, which is scheduled for Tuesday, April 23rd at 1 o'clock. 
So this is going to be the first of several community conversations being held. And um, Cynthia or Kathy, I don't know if you want to add anything to that at all outside of making people There's, aware of um, what's going on. Marie and I went for h and on Tuesday and we had a um, Bob Flower to interview with us, which will start running about the event. Um, we'll start, start running next week. And he's going to cut a PSA out of what we taped um, and run that as well. And I think the Valley Free Radio is looking, is interested in willing to do something. There'll be a press release in the Gazette, and I think ARP is sending out a press release as well. So there's a good deal of publicity outside of what is in the Chronicle and our word of mouth. And I think the key thing that we stressed certainly in the interview with Larry is this is not just for people who are themselves older adults, it is for everybody. Because mm -hmm. it's about, you know, Northampton is an age friendly you know, now and in the future, not just where you are at this particular slice in time. Mm -hmm. And so it's a whole community listening session. And the mayor is committed to stay here for the full hour and a half, um, unless it becomes a city emergency or something. But I think it's really a sense of trying to, you know, so that he's listening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in summary, April is an awesome month. It is. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's the beginning of May. That's right. Yeah. When you see May. Very great way to welcome spring. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> May is Older Americans Month. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Anything else? Anybody else want to bring? Well, up? I just wanted to make a comment um, from being at the volunteer event um, and. You threatening to give me a citation if I went to help in the kitchen. I was, <laughs> oh, I was all right. That too. I felt bad. But what was very heartening to me was to see all the people who really did want to be recognized in a shy kind of way. But also, uh, more importantly, at my table, I, I really wanted to engage with people about what did they do. And I wanted to give a shout out to Mateo Rivera, who happened mm -hmm. to be sitting at my table. He's in his 20s. He's the computer yeah. guy, mm -hmm. very shy, sat by himself, mm -hmm. uh, you know, at first. And then, you know, I went you know, and talked to him. And what I learned a lot from him was about his dedication to helping seniors with technology. And it specifically, it was interesting talking with him about how many seniors, and now after talking to him, including myself, have bought computers that are way more powerful that I didn't need, and I could have saved my $500, because in fact I don't pay, <laughs> play X games, and I don't do things, and how people don't really know that, because when you go into the Best right. Buy, they just want, they gotta meet their quota. Mm -hmm. So I, I actually learned a lot from him. And I was I wanted to talk to him further about maybe having classes for elders about how to purchase. I had never yeah, really yeah. thought yeah, about, about, yeah. about really purchase what you need. Because mm -hmm. you can save a lot of money. Right, exactly. Okay. And in fact I hired yeah. him to come set up my row code so I don't have to get my Netflix on DVD anymore and I can stream because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so there was an added oh, plus. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, no, yeah, it was totally great. Good. And then as well as talking to other people. Mm -hmm. What do you do? What do you like yeah, about volunteering? Really. At least the people at my tables. No. Yeah, we were kind of are sitting at the same table and uh, talking to the woman who does um, medical appointments. Escaping med he's with the medical appointments and was just in, you know, describing mm -hmm. sometimes she just hangs out and waits, sometimes she goes yeah, to something yeah, else. And just, just, just yeah. she obviously really enjoyed what she yeah, was doing. So. Yeah. And then Roy Fogre he was interesting. He's a, he's got a really interesting um, background. So yeah. volunteering here is incredible. Mm -hmm. A reminder about that, I didn't see all of you there, but in order for them to um, figure out how many volunteer hours you actually have in, mm -hmm. you need to scan yourself mm -hmm. in, go to volunteer hours, and check off what you're doing. There is a, under volunteers, there is a board meeting. Mm -hmm. So every time you're here, and then you get, because I don't know if they, I mean, I, I'm sorry if some of you weren't invited, but I don't know if they, they, whoever does it, looks at anything beyond how many hours each person has. And if, if you have, is it over 25 hours in a year's time, then you're invited to the volunteer lunch. I'm not I, sure. I would, I would hope that the board is invited, yes. period. Yeah, I think regardless. Yeah, yeah, because we do. Yeah. But I think, and I started having this conversation with Marie yesterday and maybe at a future board meeting, which is, 
how you look beyond just the number of hours. Mm -hmm. That it's about what's what's the so what's the impact of those Good sixteen thousand hours? Good what does that mean? You know, it has a cash value and it has an impact value. So if you had no one at the reception desk, mm. you might be shutting the doors. Those kinds of things. To really start mm. talking in terms of the contributions, how many, the numbers of people who are benefiting from the medical transportation, those kind of things so we can start to make tell that story. So were there people that weren't invited? Were you not invited or KC or no. you were invited? I was invited by your own, absolutely. Okay. And right. they tried mm -hmm. to contact me by um now not too um so if they don't we got a card. Yeah, you didn't get anything in the mail. I, I, I didn't, but it's okay. It's, it's my, my, I got a phone call too. But, uh, yeah, but I got phone call. Was very nice. Okay, your dad's back. Yeah, so, so just just a couple comments if you, if you mm -hmm. don't mind since we are doing the, the history, the tradition um, behind the volunteer recognition was mm -hmm. that it 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 recognized volunteers across a calendar year. So technically what they would do is hold a volunteer orient or volunteer recognition in April to mm -hmm. recognize volunteers from 2018. Uh, um, okay. We decided this year to change that because what that meant is that there were a handful of people that started in January or later until oh. April that technically wouldn't have fallen into that category um, that had been volunteering and would feel left out if we had a party uh, without them. Yeah. So we're going to change that and go from essentially April mm -hmm. to April rather mm -hmm. than calendar year. That seems to make okay. more sense that way yeah, people great. don't get left out. Um, there certainly has been also the benchmark of 25 hours in the past. Um, there also has been a benchmark of, of, rec of recognizing in a special way the top two people mm -hmm. in terms of the hours given. Uh, we also had a lot of healthy dialogue, um, the team here, around that as well and realizing certainly we want to honor those people that were able to give that time. But quite honestly, the person that we call at 8.05 to say, can you come to the coffee shop by 8.30 and they're there by 8.35, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, saves the day too. And so it's not always yeah. the number exactly. it is, it's about the contribution. Yeah, exactly. um, but also to second what Jerry Ann also said is that we do we do need to track it and, and what we are finding is that it is, they're not all the volunteers are tracking mm -hmm. their hours. Um, that's done through my senior center and so we certainly have the initiative okay. over the next couple months uh, to try and make sure that people mm -hmm. are. Um, and just again, it helps us track that and helps us keep an accurate record of how many volunteers we have and whether we're counting those actual hours or whether we're counting the impact that it has. Or both. We need that right yeah. or both. We, we, the more accurate that is, um, yeah. obviously, the more accurate the, the, the assessment is at the end. Yeah. So, um, so that's kind of just a little question. Can I also just make a point? It's really nice volunteer if you can, in terms of being a volunteer. We feel really. Um,
Yeah, it wasn't in the chafing dish either. It was like I think yeah. between the chafing dishes, but it was wow. funny. But people didn't know because I Less just asked more. people if they liked it, and they're like, well, one woman said thank you for it, but she was the only one that knew she was taking topo. Well, that's fun. interesting. That's great. But I'm re I'm very appreciative that I mean I've been coming to the volunteer luncheon and other luncheons for quite a few years now, and have asked for a vegetarian selection and it's not ha it hasn't happened so this year it was it happened and everybody loved it that's what's amazing about kevin he went in there and whipped up something so, more corn. Yeah, Good. They did. so <laughs> when people get invited do they choose a vegetarian or a non-vegetarian so it's just it's well we never so have it's an just option total so, Everyone takes everything, most everything on the buffet. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. But I meant like for in terms of. So they're not. Someone's going to say, "Well, that's for Jerry, and that's you know." We know we like. There's 20 people who are vegetarians. He's going to take it. That's what I meant. Actually, so Kevin knows what to make. So if you know that he knows that there are going to be 20 people. No, but I'm saying he doesn't know. No, we we didn't get a choice of a meal. We I I put it forward that I I was coming and I would like. And anybody else that did, I don't know anybody else that did it. But um, oh, it, you don't get oh a choice, God. and in the past, so he didn't know how much. It was, no, and that's my, my point. It doesn't that option, veggie option, doesn't work in a buffet. That's all I'm saying. Right, but, um, because everyone takes everything. Um, we learned, yeah. Sure. Unless you label it vegetarian. Well, well people take it. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, it was like. It was oh, like, was <laughs> like, I never saw it, you so I don't know. Now I'm the table nine, I was like, what are you talking about? But anyway, the other thing was everything was gluten free, and that was another yeah, issue. Last true. year I sat with people, and, and the people that were gluten free, and I, all we ate was fruit salad because that was all that was available to gluten free. So the cake was gluten free. The cake was gluten free. The, gluten -free. the, the cake was gluten free. Everything was. Yeah. Everything was. Yeah. So he, he just made it easy for yeah. a, oh, yeah. a dietary. That's being very sensitive. Yeah. I know I did. So mm -hmm. I think he's amazing. The food. Have, have everybody tried those Tuesday Thursday meals? Not have, yet. If you haven't tried them, you know because you can't be here. Go in the uh, the cafe or oh, there's some the, left over. Yeah, because you can buy take home oh, that's really? left oh, over. Oh, <laughs> oh. In the uh, in the yeah. snack bar, right? Mm -hmm. They're in the refrigerated case and uh, yeah. they're okay. they're quite good. order. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Someday when you need take. Oh, my meeting day. Don't exactly. Have to right. Don't cook dinner. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I mean. If, uh, like oh. yesterday. The other thing was, it was the food was cleared out. It was there was no issue of what's going to happen with the leftover okay. food. I was expecting to see some in the, ca in the cafe. This, I mean, the uh, I'm this pretty morning. sure it was. Oh it yeah, was, and they, that's what um, somebody said was all gone. Yeah, about. so it was so good. It was good. And it was well measured. Mm -hmm. okay, and anyway. waste. All right. So anybody have anything else, or want me to put anything for next month? Uh, agenda. I think we should talk about that at the end of meetings. What do you want on next month's agenda, mm -hmm. too? So, yeah, yeah, I just want who in the uh, Chronicle, and may, I may have missed this from the missed a meeting, who is uh, um, managing, I mean, who sent things to the Chronicle, et cetera, that things happen, who does the posting? Yeah, we're, you know, that yeah. We're, you there is, there isn't there. a designated Chronicle person at is the it? moment. There is okay. not. Okay. But who I think the staff is all pitching in. Send it to either myself or Marie. Okay. Yeah, because people have asked me because we had a, a meetup, an Alzheimer's meetup group in Northampton, which was, you know, a singing group, and I didn't know who to send it to. Last week. Okay. Thank you. All right, then. I will entertain a, oh, uh, what do you call it, to uh, adjourn. A motion to adjourn. Make a motion. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm very nervous running these meetings, and I can't find my words. So you're doing fine. You're doing a great job. Thank you for so moved. Seconds. Okay. Yes. So all in favor? Aye. Thank you. Opposed? Abstains? I'm not. So we're all set.